This question is about equilibrium of rigid body. In this case, two-dimensional system. In this question, we have a bent bar BD, which is supported by a smooth collar at B and a roller at D against a vertical wall. The bar BD is subjected to a vertical load of 900 pounds and a counterclockwise moment of 600 pound foot as shown. The collar and the rod are welded together to form a fixed support. Collar can slide along rod AC. We are to find out the reaction at point B between the collar and the rod and also the reaction at roller D. Obviously, we need to draw a free body diagram for rod BD as follows. Here is rod BD shown. We need to choose a system of coordinate X and Y, typical horizontal and vertical axes, and the load being applied at the middle of horizontal portion of the rod, a vertical force of 900 pounds, and a moment of 600 pound foot counterclockwise. The dimensions given are as follows. The distance between the load and the point B is two feet between load and where the rod is being bent upward, two feet. The bent portion of the rod DE is given three feet and the angle between DE and the horizontal line is given a 30 degree. Obviously, we need to calculate the horizontal projection of the line DE quantity A and also the vertical projection of DE or quantity B. Also, we need to show the unknown reaction at D the rod is free to move up and down. As a result, there is no reaction in the y direction. We have restricted the movement horizontally. Therefore, we need to put a reaction D parallel to the x-axis. So at B, we notice that the collar can move along line AC. However, it is restricted vertical to that line. Therefore, we have to put a force B as reaction perpendicular to line AC, which makes an angle of 60 degree with the vertical line. Also, since the collar and the rod are welded together as one piece, there is no possibility of rod BD to rotate at that point, we need to put a moment reaction at this point, call it MB. We have three unknown quantity, two forces, D and B, and one moment at point B, MB, which at this time we have chosen to be counterclockwise. We can see that A is equal to three feet time cosine of 30 degree, which is point A. 8, 6, which give us a, a equal to 2.60 feet. Similarly, B, the vertical projection of DE over the line Y become 3 feet time sine of 30 degree or equal to one and a half foot. Next, we need to write equation of equilibrium. The first equation of equilibrium is summation of the forces along x-axis equal to zero or d and the projection of the b over the x-axis which is negative minus b times sine of 60 degree or cosine of 30 degree equal to zero. We have two unknown d and b and one equation is not solvable. Next, we write sigma Fy or summation of the forces in the y direction equal to zero or we have 900 pound going downward and then the projection of the B over the vertical line which is B cosine of 60 degree going upward therefore is positive and the sum must be equal to zero. As we can see we have only one unknown here B become equal to 900 pound divided by cosine of 60 degree, which is one half. 
Therefore, the force B become equal to 1,800 pound. One of the unknown quantity was calculated. Immediately, we can substitute this quantity in first equation. We get D equal to B times sine of 60 degree. And B is equal to 1800 pound. Sine of 60 degree is 0 0.866 for a magnitude of 1,559 pounds. So horse D also was determined. The last unknown is the moment MB at support B. We can take the moment about point D or E or B. Let's choose the last point. Summation of the moment at point B equal to zero. We start from the D. The force D has a moment about B and that is equal to D times vertical distance B, which is equal to one and a half feet. And that moment is clockwise or negative. Then where the loads are, we can see that there is a 600 pound foot of the moment already there in counterclockwise position, therefore is plus. Then we have a load of 900 pound at a distance of two feet from B, which gives us a moment of 900 times two, and the action is counterclockwise, therefore it is also positive. And then at point B, the force B does not have any moment through the B because it goes through the point, but we have a couple sitting there and B. So therefore, the sum of all these moments must be equal to zero. From this equation, we calculate MB to be equal to minus 61.5 pound for the moment. Negative means the direction that we have chosen is incorrect. And actually, the moment at that point is clockwise. All three unknown quantities determine and the problem is finished.